Now St James has a very unique feature attached to the church. Lovely sunny day today, a little bit of cloud coming over. And I brought you back to the village of Shear in the Surrey Hills. Beautiful village, um, very famous in these parts. Um, I shot my movie Return to Ravenswood, some of the exteriors here in 2006, and I'll show you some of the locations that I used. Yeah, let's have a little walk around, pop up to the church, and see what's going on. Lovely Ford. Imagine back in the day the horses and carts just going through, having a drink. The old prison house. Love that the old prison house. <laughs> in the old windows, how they used to be. Oh, it's only 10 30 and everyone is out today. Everyone. Delivery drivers, people walking in. I mean, <laughs> popular place, I know. Lots of walkers. Man. 1705. Return to Ravenswood was about a swarm of hippies and paranormal investigators descending on the village of Ravenswood due to this UFO coming back to the village. This shop here used to be a greengrocer's and we shot a very funny scene with Heather uh, as Gwen Goody who was uh, leafleting the village about all these hippies coming in and stopping the UFO phenomena. Not letting a damp morning dampen their spirits, the friends of Ravenswood put their best foot forward and begin the leafleting campaign. Well, I'm actually just on my way out canvassing, um, going off into the village and uh, I'll be meeting up with um, Gwen and Reggie a little later on this morning. So it used to be terribly good. It used to be full of local produce, and now they've been wonderful and fresh, didn't it? Yeah, they used to have wonderful melons. Well, yes, I mean they import everything. Well, now. yes, I was having this conversation with George actually the other day about that. Well, he can't get his weeds in here. They Can he not? They really? won't take them. And as for those, look, those are imported dollars, and on whatever oh, they're awful yeah. pink lady thing that they do. I mean, it's ridiculous. I prefer Cox. Hmm. The village is so busy, there's noise, there's delivery drivers, there's barriers everywhere. I don't know if there's some filming going on, or might be some filming going on, but it's an absolute racket. St James's Church now open for private prayer. Lovely old door. We've been in here before on one of my previous videos, so I'm not going to go today. But it's a lovely, lovely church. Look at this porch. I love this. Emma Diggins, faithful servant of the church, died in 2nd of February 1907. Fantastic old picture. Now St James has a very unique feature attached to the church. Check this out. Site of the cell of Christine Carpenter, anchoress of Shear, 1329. So back in 1329, there would have been a structure here, stone structure, 
and people would have devoted their life to God by being walled in, okay, away from the sins of the world. So they literally were living in this stone, what, five, six foot by four foot maybe? And villagers would feed them water and food. There would be a little window so they could hear the congregation uh, and the services going on. But that is really an extreme way of personal devotion to God, to the Christian God. You need to get permission from the Archbishop of Canterbury. And I think she did it twice. She came out for a while and then went back in. But we don't know what happened to Christine after she went back in for the second time. I mean, look, it's only up here. And it comes out to about here. Spending years in this almost solitary confinement. Incredible. I've said it before, you know, this is back in the time when religion ruled everything absolutely everything and she would have been highly thought of for sacrificing her freedom in a way for the devotion and love of her god it might seem bizarre in modern times being a very secular society we are now uh, but that's how it was you know until the enlightenment religion ruled everything you have the Tillingbourne river streaming through the sun keeps coming in going out coming in going out Pain for a filmmaker. <laughs> we want it like this all the time. Yeah. Public footpath. Another shoot we did on the same day with the leafleting scenes, as I call them. Very funny scene we improvised just going down this little road here by the church. Very funny. Although weary from the morning's leafleting, Gwen Goody and her followers are feeling positive. Um, hello. Definitely been worth it. Oh. <laughs> Well, we are run off our feet. Like, what can I say? Uh, poor old Audrey's got blisters I on her I certainly balls. have. I Ooh, certainly sorry. have. I you shouldn't wait. wear heels. I told you not to wear heels. Well, no, I agree. We've been uh, around the religion. We've been canvassing like crazy. And uh, most people, I think, have been very amenable. Very and nice. uh, they're on our side, aren't they? Very yes, the WI are. is, is fully supportive. Absolutely. Um, um, we managed to get posters up in most of yes, the shops. The posters uh, which is are up. Wonderful. little short track way up by the church. I remember coming here getting a few shots. Yeah. A close encounter of the rural kind was its tagline, return to Ravenswood. What shall we do with the drunken druid? Drunken sail on druid fluid. What shall we do with the drunken druid? And I did a sequel in 2013 different story some of the same characters but a different story but the first one was all improvised there was a basic script of what needs to happen in each scene and um, eleven o'clock thank you um, Bashir has been using quite a few films actually. I think Harry Potter has been shot here. A few films from the 1940s onwards. Um, the Holiday. I just wonder how old these doors are. You know me and doors. I would do some dowsing. I'm very much interested, I say before, it's a little bit of a project now, is why ancient uh, structures are built where they are. So, um, yeah. Are we going, r these settlements, are we going right back to sort of Mesolithic era? Or when we were hunter-gatherers? What's special about these places? Is there an earth energy current coming through? Which I think there is. But that's something for another time, because it's way too busy for me to concentrate on dowsing. Well that's it, just a little short trip around Shear. It's way too noisy and too many people can't be helped. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like, subscribe, if you'd leave a comment if you've been here, I'm sure many people have. And we'll see you next time. Take care.